got a nice little clip of Jupiter here. I filmed it on an 8 megapixel camera phone. It's one of those old HTC ones. I just dragged it out the bottom of my drawer and thought I'd try it out. It's not done a bad job either. You can see the banding um, of Jupiter. Um, it's pretty clear really. I've got it attached to my scope. It's only 6 inch Celestron but I reckon you could get this on a pair of binoculars and get something similar. If you took your time probably better. I like using the phone cameras, you've got access to the menu, the phone menu quite, I should say, the camera menu quite easy for filters, exposures um, and whatnot and cropping in, you know, the zo zooming in, zooming out. I'm just guiding, well I'm guiding it uh, with a little iPad, um, so I've not programmed the scope, I'm just guiding it manually so it might veer in and out. And this is the clip, I actually stack this clip, I run it for a software called PPI, sorry, it's called PIPP. Um, it's quite good. It gives you a, a nice AVI file to it with. I've turned the exposure um, up there so you can see the moons. And I think we've got uh, Ganymede at the top, Europa and Callistro. Europa's at the bottom. Um, it's caught it. I can, put, I can put a filter on that quite fast with the by touching the screen, accessing the camera menu and put a bit of a polarising filter on there and Europa looks quite, it looks heavy, you can, you know, it's got like a quite a bit of weight there, Europa and the way it's moving, you can adjust the filters as well quite easily I think that's why I quite like the cameras, you can just access it quite easy um, so I'm going to just adjust that filter and get it a bit brighter you can still see the banding, it's not, it's not too bad, you know, 8 megapixel camera, it's doing quite good um, the banding is quite evident there, and uh, the actual stacked image looks quite good as well. I was uh, I was quite surprised with it being only a small camera. This is what I actually stacked. So there's a bit of a like a 30, 30 second clip. Um, I run it through PIPP software, it cropped it, and then I put it in Auto Stacker. And the resulting image is, is not too bad at all. It was, I did it quite rushed. I didn't give much thought about it. I think I only used about about 20, uh, 20 anchoring points. Um, and it come out quite well. You can also upload it to Registax if you want. Because they have like a kind of software at the end where you can alter the contrast and brightness and etc. And this is the stacked image. It's a bit stretched, but it's not done. It's, it's quite okay. It's got one of the moons there. I think that's I think that moon's um, cholesterol. It's not. So you got the detail. You can see the storm. You can see the banding. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Please like, subscribe, and bye for now.